Okay guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. You're welcome to this session. In this session, is we're actually going to see the possibilities of an error module not found okay, after successful pip installed. I actually found this on, I mean, Stack Overflow. And uh, right now here, I get an opportunity to share my ideas. What are the possible, I mean, solution or what are the possible uh, i mean reason for you to face this error okay so before i proceed if this is actually the first time for you to watch out my channel don't forget to subscribe share more my video like and comment okay so here are almost five possible options once you get an error okay so number one is you are using visual environment and the packages i mean packages are installed out of visual environment okay it is possible that you are using visual environment okay you installed the package outside of visual environment then after you activated your visual environment and you think your package is installed in your visual environment so to actually to prove this i mean what can be the solution because this is actual an opinion so a po uh, uh, i mean a, a, a proper solution is to use pip list command so as you can list the packages in your visual environment okay so if you're using i mean uh, visual environment with uh, pip3 you will just write pip3 list if you're using pip2 you will actually need to use pip2 but sometimes you you may I actually just need to have pip list if you are maybe you're using one version of python and you have only one version of pip okay but for us who we have pip3 and pip2 installed in our computer you actually need to do that so another option is you are using visual environment and the package is installed outside i mean the first is you're using I mean, yes, the first option is you're using visual environment and the package is, is installed outside. So the option number two is you are not using visual environment, but at the same time you think you installed the package, okay? So the, 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 the issue is the same. You, you can actually need just to do something like this. Maybe pip list, pip3 list. Okay, you can list the packages. If you use the, I mean, is for python 3 for python 2 is that okay you can see that's okay so you may be probably requesting numpy in python 2 while you have actually not installed python i mean i mean you have actually not installed numpy in python 2 that's okay so uh the third option is your project is using python 3 and the packages are installed in python 2 okay Possible you have project, I mean, I mean project using Python 3 and your packages are installed in Python 2. So when you install package after successful installation of package, you will see something like this. And you, you actually need to be careful. If you are doing the Django in Python 3, you should be sure that other packages are installed in Python 3 path. Okay, and if you're using the Django in Python 2, make sure after, I mean, installation command, you see, yeah, I mean, the packages have been, I mean, I mean, stored in the path of Python 2. Here, I may actually show you a simple example of running here. Okay. For example, yes, this is an example. So you can see this. I mean, I did the, I did the pip3 install numpy, and you can see the package is installed in the path of Python 3. This means that I'm using, I mean, my project is using Python 3. But if your project is using, let's say you are using Django, the Django version 1 or 1.8, which is actual supportive, I mean, in Python 2. I'm not so sure if you can install the Django 1.8 or the Django 1.0 in Python 3. I think the version is only supported in Python 2. So you may actually be using, I mean, I mean, 
you may actually maybe your project is using the Django Python is using the Django version one and it actually need I mean I mean it's actually need Python 2. So if you're running that project, you need to install your packages in Python 2. And after successful installation of packages, you can see something like this. Home, whatever, but you can see the path is, I mean, 2.7, okay? So we are done. This is actually the same. It's possible you are, you are using, I mean, your project is using Python 2, but the packages are installed in Python 3. What I'm talking about here, if you're using Python 2, you'll actually need to use pip2 install, okay? pip2 install Django 1.8, okay? If you're using Python 3, you actually need to use pip3 install package, okay? So don't mix the two. Another one, I mean, the last option, possible option is mix mixing between Python 3 visual environment and Python 2. If you have created a virtual environment by using Python 2, make sure you also use pip2 install packages and your project is using python2 if you are using i mean pip3 make sure that your project need python3 and you are using pip3 to install packages okay that's okay so to close up this session this is actually the first command you can i mean run in a window to see the path of i mean i mean install the linux but this command is actually for linux okay you can run this command to list the version of the version of python you can see here we have python 3 we have python 2 but by default python 3 python as python is python 3 this is actual a configuration in Linux that I want this to be my basic Python okay but if someone want to use Python 2 okay he or she will need to use Python 2 and we actually saw that I mean Python within Python 2 we installed NumPy so we can import NumPy don't import NumPy here in Python 2 while you installed in NumPy in Python 3. So those are the, I mean, my ideas based on this error. So make sure you are be, be careful on installation of packages so, ha, so as you can have happy coding. Thank you. I think this is an ender of this story. It was like sharing the opinion and the experience. Uh, don't forget to like, put, comment, share, and subscribe. So as you can be updated timely once we upload a new video. Before I close up this session, I'm actually talking like I'm rapping, but it's okay. Before I close up this session, let me thank you in nine different international languages. Thank you so much. Asante sana. Muchas gracias. Muito obrigado. Mexi boko. Kamza hamida. Aita. Danke de nawad. Thank you. Keep on watching. I hope to see you in the next tutorial.